Hello and welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Today I'm going to show you an air conditioner that wasn't working outside. The inside portion was working. Uh, what happened is the capacitor actually arced against the case. So it's very important to anchor capacitors both for the air conditioned tech safety or future air conditioned tech safety as well as the uh, life of the machine and having a uh, okay. good cooling experience. Good old Palm Springs day. It's uh, not blazing, blazing hot yet, but it's definitely uh, feeling warmer today. A little tiny bit humid with the uh, cloud cover going, but anyway, I got an AC. Nothing's uh, turning on. I mean, it's on inside. So, any number of possible problems could be contactor, could be burned wires, could be blown fuses. Could be, could be, could be. Could be a bad thermostat. Could be a bad relay. Let's take a look. All right, we've got a dangling capacitor, and where it's sitting, that's kind of not so good. Ah, uh, let's see what else we got. Wiring. It looks fairly okay. Question is, is our contactor pulled in? Uh, these dust covers, they're they're pretty good for the contactor, but they do sort of get in your way seeing what's going on so we want to check and see if that uh contact is actually sucked in so rule that out first thing obviously if the contact is not sucked in then the unit's not going to fire up uh be securing that capacitor up better anchor it strap it in somehow Anyway, let's see what's going on first before I get off. Get all crazy. Er. Okay. Very careful. We still got power. Okay, contactor is pulled in, but we have no power. I feel the compressor. It's not too hot. So that's a good sign. So maybe we just blew a fuse, and maybe it has to do with that dangling capacitor there. It's definitely, uh, that's not good. So I'm going to pull the disconnect and trace our conduit back, make sure we get the right one. This one here. And I can check my fuses back at the shop. I actually have some fuses with me. I'm going to discharge my capacitor from both capacitors. And for temporary, I'm going to anchor this capacitor somewhere better, or at least just you know, loop it so it's not going to bang in anything. I definitely like to anchor this up here. Anchor it better. But, um, I got someone with no AC at the moment. And so that's going to be first priority. It's getting them AC. Come back later and anchor that capacitor. I don't see any um, other wiring shorts or anything, so I think that's what we got going on. Just gotta get my new fuses here, change them out, and time will tell. Looking at the top, got the wiring going through the lid here. I already discharged my cap, so I can pull these up a little bit. And it could be something touched there as well. It's better to tie these underneath, but since my unit's on the roof, and there's not, you know, general public access. It's uh, not critical, but definitely better to tie them up underneath the lid instead. The reversing wires for the fan motor anyway. Change out my fuses, and then when I get back to my shop, I'll test these out, ohm them out, test them for resistance and uh, see what we've got going on there. I uh, already checked the breaker inside, it's not tripped. So there's that. Here's my fuses. Give it a go and we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe here. Now I'm going to take a look around and see if I can find a wire or something that I can actually tie up that fastener. So I've got an old hard start kit here. 
use that instead. Take the wiring. it out here. Looks like it just arced out on the back. Short it out. Now we're in there nice and good. Everything's getting nice and cold. Looks like we're good to go. I'll stay with it for about five, 10 minutes. And I'll come back and anchor that capacitor better. That's uh, just what I got for now. To, Keep it good. Check out my video on the plumber strap method for what I think is the best method for anchoring yeah. air conditioning capacitors at this point. Nice and chilly. We're good to go. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. What happened is that dangling capacitor touched the back of that thing and pop the fuses. We're good to go.